I'm about to make a smoothie, so here are some of the things I love to put in my smoothies as a certified health and wellness coach and holistic nutritionist. Keep in mind that these are only some options and everyone's taste preference is different, so these are just some suggestions and some things I really love. First, we're going to start with some of the basics, and that is going to be protein powder. This is something I have in literally every smoothie. This is my go-to protein powder. Um, I truly love it. This is a whey protein powder from Dramatize. I don't know how, how to say that. It's Cocoa Pebbles kind. They have Rudy Pebble and some other flavors. This is the one I really like. I put it in all my smoothies. And going along with the protein, you can also do protein coffee. This is the Alani protein. You can get like Walmart, Target. You can just pour some of this in. And this has 10 grams of protein. Um, some of them, I believe all of the Alani new ones have 10 grams. But they're like some other ones, protein coffees that you can get like this that have like 15 grams. So that's something to add in a little coffee flavor, but also some more protein. A few really good fiber options I like to have is flax meal seed. I, this is from Aldi's. You can get it literally in like any grocery store. I truly, this is what I love to put in for some fiber. You can also do a big one is chia seeds. I personally don't like to have chia seeds in my smoothies as much as flax meal. I prefer this one over it, but this is still a really great option to have. Sorry if you heard that background noise. That was my pug. Moving on to some more fiber is fruits and veggies. You can do, I personally have to have banana in my smoothies, but like any fruits, berries, raspberries, blackberries, bananas, strawberries, oranges, pineapple, apples. I've seen many different kinds of fruits in smoothies. Personally, my favorite are strawberries and bananas, but you know, that's just me. You can also do some vegetables for some added vitamins, minerals, and also fiber, as I said. A lot of people um, like carrots, sm or spinach, and also going to be like kale. Um, I personally rather get my vegetables in other ways than smoothies, but I do every once in a while like to throw some in if it's one of those weeks where I feel like I'm not getting enough vegetables in. Another fun thing and way to get in some protein is Greek yogurt. This is protein probiotic yogurt from Aldi's. I really like it. 15 grams of protein in one of these cups. I love this flavor. I have literally like a four pack a week, basically. Um, so great option. Put in some granola, even just on top for a little bit of crunch. And also oats are also a great thing to have. These are things that I throw in. I don't put in every smoothie, but I do bounce around with having them in for sure. Moving on to a few fat health, like fats and fun options that are great for smoothies is coconut flakes. I love coconut flakes. Um, these are great to even put on top or in, however you're feeling. Um, and then also for a healthy fat, nut butters. I just <laughs> ran out of our almond butter, um, but peanut butter, nut butters, great options. Even like nuts, like you know, pecans, things like that are great options. And then also it's a nice little fun touch, honey. I love honey, like even just the smell, mm, it gives me. Um, so you've been drizzling some honey on top or mixing it in for a little nice fun. And then also chocolate, especially dark chocolate. Mm, it is such a great thing to have. Um, and it's just a little added fun and chocolate, despite what society may try to eat you think is not terrible and gonna kill you. The last thing to top the smoothie off is milk. I personally like unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is from Walmart. I also get mine at all these other two places I mostly get mine at. Um, but any type of milk that you want to use, soy milk, cow's milk, almond milk, whatever. Um, but this is just my personal preference. Literally so good. I am obsessed with smoothies. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe and leave in the comments below your favorite ingredients for smoothies.